matter and its composition. To live, each living being breathes in air. Life on this planet is possible due to the presence of oxygen in air and water on earth. To keep going, we need energy, which is supplied to our body by the food we eat. To live constantly, we are using substances in different physical states around us. Can we give them a name collectively? You may be surprised, but the answer is yes. They are all different forms of matter. What is matter? Matter is defined as anything that has mass and occupies space. Can we call air, water or a piece of bread matter? Do they have mass? Do they occupy space? Let us find out. Do you remember the story of the thirsty crow? The crow was thirsty and there was little water in the pot. So, the crow threw small pebbles in it to raise the level of water till crow could drink it. This story proves that solids as well as liquids occupy space or have volume. The volume occupied by a solid is not available to the liquid and it has to occupy space elsewhere. When the crow threw pebbles in the pot, they being heavy, sank to the bottom, occupying that space. Water was forced to rise up to occupy space above the pebbles. Wasn't the crow intelligent? You are already aware that everything has mass and occupies space. Therefore, everything is matter. Activity Air has mass. Take a balloon. Weigh it. Note down the weight. Fill air in the balloon to blow it and take weight. You will find that the weight of the balloon increases. It is only because of adding air. Composition of matter. A brief introduction. We have been using these terms in connection with matter. That is, matter exists in three states, namely solid, liquid and gas. Now, we know what is matter, but the question remains, how does it exist in three states? To answer this question, we have to know what is matter made up of. Matter is made up of very small particles which can exist independently. These particles are called molecules. Molecules can further be split into smaller particles called atoms. While molecules are capable of independent existence, atoms cannot exist independently. Therefore, composition of matter can be understood taking molecules as its constituents. What is matter made up of? After getting a general idea about matter and the various states in which it exists, let us learn about nature of substances. For example, water and mercury exist in liquid state, but their chemical composition is different. Mercury is an element and water is a compound. Let us take another example. Mercury as well as oxygen are elements, but they are so different from each other that while mercury is toxic or poisonous in nature, oxygen is life-giving. First of all, let us know what is an element and what is it made up of. Do you know? The word atom is derived from the Greek word atomos, means that which cannot be divided. Intermolecular force and intermolecular space. As a child, you must have played with building blocks and made different shapes by changing their arrangement. In a similar manner, 
molecules are the building blocks of matter and different states of matter are due to difference in arrangement of molecules. Molecules attract each other. The force of attraction between molecules is called intermolecular force of attraction. In a similar manner, the space between any two molecules is called intermolecular space. Solids Molecules are closely packed in a solid with little or no intermolecular space and very high intermolecular force of attraction. The molecules cannot move but vibrate at their place. Molecules possess less energy in a solid. Properties and reasons for exhibiting the properties. 1. Solids have a definite shape and occupy a definite space. That is, solids have a fixed volume. Reason Since molecules are closely packed in a solid, they have the least intermolecular space and strong intermolecular force of attraction. They cannot move from their place, giving solids a definite shape and volume. 2. Solids cannot flow. Reason Due to the strong intermolecular forces, they cannot flow. 3. Solids are incompressible. Reason As there is no place left in between the molecules, they cannot move closer to each other. As a result, solids are incompressible. 4. Solids can have any number of free surfaces depending on their shape. Reason Solids are those substances which have a definite shape and volume. They are non-compressible, cannot flow and therefore can have any number of free surfaces. Activity Take a bowl filled with sugar. Now empty the contents of the bowl in a plate. What do you observe? The sugar does not flow on the plate. Instead, it gets heaped. Liquids In case of liquids, the molecules are not tightly packed and their position is not fixed. As compared to molecules in solid state, these molecules possess more energy. Also, there is greater intermolecular space and lesser intermolecular force of attraction. The attraction between molecules is less, but not so less that they may move in any direction. They can easily slide over each other and exchange or even change their places. Properties and reasons for exhibiting the properties 1. Liquids don't have a definite shape but takes the shape of container in which they are kept. Reason As molecules of liquids are not tightly packed, they can easily shift and adjust by taking the shape of container in which they are kept. Not being compact, liquids don't have a fixed shape. Activity Take a jug of water and pour some of it in a glass and some in a cup. Do you face the difficulty? Take some marbles and try to put them in a cup as well as in a glass. Was it easy adjusting them? You will find that pouring water in any container is not difficult because water being a liquid acquires the shape of the container. Unlike water, marbles have a definite shape. It is therefore not easy to fit them in a container. They have to be adjusted properly to fit them into the container. Two. Liquids have a fixed volume. When we say half a cup of milk, we have an idea 
as to how much space will be occupied by it. Similarly, if you are thirsty, you know how much water you can consume because we have a general idea of the volume of liquids. Reason Since intermolecular force of attraction in a liquid is not very high, as in case of solids, hence the molecules remain at an approximate distance from each other. Unlike solids, their places are not fixed, so they can roam away from their place. 3. Liquids flow a higher level to a lower level under normal conditions. You can attribute this property to intermolecular force of attraction in liquids, which does not allow molecules to stray. 4. Liquids can be compressed slightly because they have a definite volume. 5. Liquids, unlike solids, have only one free surface. Reason Since liquids have to be stored in a container, they take the shape of container. On three sides, they are bounded by the walls of container, but on the fourth side, they face the mouth of the container, and this is their free surface. Thus, any material which has a definite volume but no definite shape and has one free surface is called liquid. Activity Take a small cup filled with water, a glass bowl and a coffee flask. Note the shape of water in the cup. It has one free flat surface as shown in the figure. Now, Invert the cup in the glass bowl. You will find that water flows into the bowl and takes the shape of the bowl, but its top surface is free and flat. Pour the water from the bowl to the coffee flask. You will find that water flows into the flask and takes the shape of the flask with its top surface free and flat. Now, again pour water from coffee flask to the cup. What do you observe? The cup again gets filled and the water takes the shape of the cup. Gases In this state of matter, molecules are far apart from each other. There is maximum intermolecular space and minimum intermolecular force of attraction. Molecules possess high energy and move freely in all directions. Properties and reasons for exhibiting the properties 1. Gases have no definite shape. They take the shape of containing vessel. Then, what is the difference between gases and liquids? Gases occupy every bit of space available. So, while you can say, give me a cup of tea, but you cannot say, give me a cup of air. Reason As there is negligible or very less attraction between gaseous molecules, they freely move anywhere. 2. Gases have no definite volume. Reason Gases have large intermolecular spaces between them, with the molecules free to move in any direction. Gases can flow in all directions because of negligible intermolecular force of attraction between their molecules. Fact There is a fourth state of matter called plasma, but it is not often seen. It only exists at very high temperatures inside the sun and other stars, or on Earth at low pressures. It consists of atoms split up by great heat or electricity. Activity Take an empty glass bottle and pour a few drops of perfume in it. Smell the bottle. You will be able to smell the perfume. Now, 
Place this bottle in your drawing room and leave it undisturbed for a few minutes. You will observe that the whole room is filled with the smell of perfume. From this activity, we conclude that gases have no definite volume. They have a property to fill the entire space available to them. 3. Gases are highly compressible. Reason Owing to large intermolecular spaces between their molecules, gases can be easily compressed. What does a mechanic do when he fills air in your cycle's tube? He allows compressed air to enter the cycle's tube and fill it. 4. Gases have no free surface. Reason If you keep a gas in a container, then to avoid escaping of that gas, you must seal the container. Example LPG cylinder at home is sealed as it contains cooking gas. Hence, gases have no free surface. It is also difficult to transport gases as they expand or contract with change in temperature or pressure. Comparative study of the properties of solids, liquids and gases. Property Solid Liquid Gas 1. Shape Fixed no fixed shape. No fixed shape. 2. Arrangement. Very tightly packed. Loosely packed. Very loosely packed. 3. Force of attraction. Very strong. Strong. Negligible. 4. Intermolecular space. Negligible. Medium Maximum 5. Volume Definite Definite No definite volume 6. Compressibility Non-compressible Can be compressed slightly Can be compressed easily Composition of matter we are surrounded by matter everywhere. Matter exists around us in either solid, liquid or gaseous form. Every single matter is made up of n number of molecules. These molecules together form a matter and are called its constituents. In more scientific manner, composition of matter defined as chemical composition of that specific sample which is either a compound, element or mixture. Composition of matter remains unchanged by ordinary physical processes but it can be altered through chemical processes. Matter exists in nature in generally three states that is solid, liquid and gas. Matter can further be classified as pure substances and mixtures. Matter Pure substance Mixture Element Compound Homogeneous Heterogeneous Pure substance A substance having uniform chemical composition and characteristic properties throughout is called pure substance example water solid co2 dry ice etc pure substance can further be subcategorized in elements and compounds element an element is an essential characteristic part of a substance it is the smallest unit of substance which cannot be broken in further simpler form through chemical means. 
An element consists of similar type of atoms. Atom is defined as that smallest unit of element which shows all the characteristics of that element independently. Atoms of any element combine with other atoms of that element and form molecule. Structure formed by molecular arrangement is called molecular structure. Some element exist as single atoms while others combine together to form molecule. Compound When two or more elements combine together in a chemically fixed proportion to form a new substance, newly formed substance is called a compound. Most common example of a compound is water. It is a combination of hydrogen and oxygen molecules in fixed proportion of 2 is to 1. Another example of compound is carbon dioxide. It is made up of carbon and oxygen molecules combined together in a fixed proportion of 1 is to 2 respectively.